Hi folks, the story I'm going to tell you now comes from a gentleman friend in Japan. I'd like to thank you for alerting me to this story. It has to do with the Olympics, and specifically it has to do with an Olympian from the Nawan to a nation on the Horn of Africa, Somalia. This young lady lives in Mogadishu. Her name is Samir Yusuf Amar, and I know I just butchered her name, so I apologize. Mogadishu is pretty much in a state of anarchy where the Al-Qaeda insurgents are trying to gain control. She lives in a two-room house with her family. The family exists by selling fruits and vegetables, but however, that her daily meal, the food, normally consisted of uh, flatbread, wheat porridge, and water. The only stadium of Olympic, I shouldn't say Olympic, the only athletic facilities in the area is, was one called Mogadishu Stadium, which was taken over by the insurgents and has a running track in it, but you couldn't use it because the insurgents are in the stadium. The other stadium is called Kani Stadium, built in 1958 without a track. Grass is overrun in the stadium and there are divots all over the place, so it's inappropriate to practice running. So she runs in the streets of Somalia in her running outfit. Well, the macho men in that society say, uh uh. It's that's inappropriate for you to dress that way. That's inappropriate for women to participate in the sport. So, to lessen the severity of the harassment or the potential for uh, violence, in that oppressive heat, she then started running wearing a headscarf long sleeve shirt and sweatpants to lessen the probability of being verbally or physically abused by the men in that society who did not like her participating in that sport but nevertheless she still practiced because she wanted to go to the Olympics I think she was just one or two there was only two Olympians from that nation I think who went to Beijing and, and she went to the Olympics not thinking she's going to win a gold medal folks she went to the Olympics for something a lot of you, a lot of us, right? She said, excuse me, for something a lot of you lack, because I don't like it. She went there for, out of patriotism, pride of her nation, a nation impoverished, a nation in anarchy, a nation that's war-torn, war and yet she has this pride for this nation of hers, the nation of her birth. Her goal was to get to Beijing. Her goal is to get to the Olympics, to wave the flag of her nation for the whole world to see, hey, Somalia is represented at these games. God bless her. What a brave woman. We all should look up to and be proud of. How many Americans travel abroad and deny the fact that they're Americans and say that they're Canadians? How many of you citizens in other nations find it repulsive or embarrassing to wave the flag of your nation because you think patriotism is something to look down upon. We need to admire this young lady for her patriotism. We need to emulate her spirit. see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be. See ya. We are springing to the power for 300,000 more.